A new form of testing is taking place in Bloomington and in Carmel. It could detect outbreaks of COVID-19 in a community before test results come in using wastewater. CBS4's Mike Sullivan explains tonight. School is most certainly back in session. And with it, COVID-19. For Purdue, um, they tested every single student coming back to campus. IU seeing 30 Greek life houses hit, but what if? There was another way to track these trends. I know some universities out there and some other municipalities are doing this. COVID testing of wastewater. What goes down your toilet? Through your drains. It doesn't tell you who has it, but it definitely could be isolated down to a given location. Testing is starting up in Muncie, Bloomington, and has been in play in Carmel. While it is new to COVID, Carmel Utilities says the concept is not. Wastewater has been used before, for sure, to test for certain things. Uh, uh, polio, um, they've used wastewater plants to test for, for drug usage. Samples collected at the plant can show emerging or decreasing surges. It might be hard to tell exactly how much, but that's, that's an early indicator. For colleges, it may be a game changer. You can, you know, uh, attach these detectors uh, to affluent lines, maybe specific to a building. Say a manhole near a dorm, school building, or office. Could become more of a warning system down the road than it, more than it is now. As long as it's a direct line close to the location. Now you can do your daily sampling and you maybe monitor the uh, prevalence in the community. The Indiana Finance Authority has launched a 12-week testing program into this targeting utilities who serve college campuses with more than a thousand students. A real-time indicator. Where a swab test may take two to three days for results, a water test. It can take public health action on that. Shut down a location before the spread gets worse. In Carmel, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS4 News. You can read more about this.